everyone, welcome to the Nail Tip Show. I'm at IBS Las Vegas. I'm here with a special friend. I have been, I uh, just love his work, been loving his work, so I'm so excited to sit here and be on his model today. Hi Max, how are you? Hi Ann. Hi everybody, thanks so much for watching the Nail Tip Show and we're so excited to be here today live from Las Vegas. I'm super excited to do a demo today. Thank you so much for taking time out and visiting me and getting a demo, I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited, I can hardly wait. So Max, can you just give us a little bit more information about you and what's your company about? Of course. So first of all, my name is Max Estrada. If you guys don't follow me already on social media, I have probably one of the top 10 Instagram accounts for nails. I have about 210,000 followers and uh, also Facebook too. And uh, I've been in the manufacturing industry for about 11 years now and I started my own company four years ago. So we manufacture and design um, acrylic, gels, gel polish. Uh, we have a nail polish line coming out um, next week also. So you guys can check that out on my Instagram. And uh, our focus is on, on on making products that are very um, affordable and also really pretty. Our packaging is like super unique, it's super feminine and um, super high quality and all of our products are made in America. Oh wow, okay. So what are we gonna, well what are you gonna do for me today? Well today, um, today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be doing one of the biggest nail trends this year which is ombre nails or baby boomer nails in French and I'm gonna uh, walk you guys through it I'm gonna let you know the most important part because when people do this nail, the hardest thing that they have is the blending between the pink and the white, right? Yes. And the biggest issue that people have is because they're using a pure stark white color. So you want to make sure you don't use a pure white color. You want to make sure you use the off-white. And my company, we offer two colors. One is called Marshmallow White, and the other one is called Milky Way. And then we have another one out coming up, uh, being released called Diamond White, and it's also a uh, off-white with a really, really fine um, diamond shimmer. So it's beautiful. Wow. So today we'll be using um, Marshmallow White, and we're going to be using internal beige, which is a really, really pretty, cool cover um, pink powder, which is a purple and coral base, because those are the two most universal skin tones, okay. colors. Wow. So let's get started. Are you ready? Yes, yes I'm okay. ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the shine and prep her nail at the same time using our Diamond Moon cuticle bit. And this is really cool because this bit will actually buff the skin and remove the shine off the nail at the same time. So it saves the, the nail technician a lot of time. I always say it's really important to have really, really good cuticle work because it's like having a beautiful picture but with ugly frame. Right. So I'm using my drill at 2000 RPM and I started the cuticle and look how easily it just removes everything. And it doesn't hurt at all. And no damage. Yeah. And it's really important to pull back the lateral sidewall and really get in there. And they're available also on our website and all our distributors all over the world have it now too. What is your website? enailcouture.com 877 nailux One layer primer, uh, uh, prep, I'm sorry. And I also like to add a little bit just to the skin and that actually dehydrates the skin so that way the form stays better on the fingernail. And then walk it on and then it's good to go. So I'm going to share with you a little t uh, little uh, trick because people always say, what's the secret to making the, the hands look really aerodynamic or really skinny, especially in pictures? When people sh um, measure the nails, when we competed, we always did these two fingers the same size. The middle finger was two millimeters longer and the, these two were two millimeters shorter so that way the hand forms a triangle. Because if you make these two the same size, then this one's too long, this one's too short, and this one is in the middle. And it makes the hand look off balance. So I'm going to pour some of my cotton candy monomer in my uh, pink glass half dish. I'm using a size 14 brush too. So this is a milky off-white with a really pretty iridescent shimmer in cool tones. And then blend it on halfway up the nail bed. You don't have to worry about making it perfect because the cover pink is going to go on top. And then since it's a little bit chillier here in the convention center because of the AC, you have more time to work with the product. Versus outside where it's very, very hot. Yes, it would probably, by the time I pick it up, it would probably dry because it's about 117 degrees out here in Las Vegas. Max Bansai, we um, milky white with a little bit glitter, right Max? Yes. And anh đang đắp lên, anh sẽ làm cho em một cái móng ombre. 
Oh, Jai Goive Nail Tip Show. Did I say oh, that right? A little bit, I'm me so you. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> So Max đang xài cái cọ 14, anh đang lấy cái cọ với cái size cái cọ với lại cái mình cọ để à, từ từ à, dẹp cái cái mờ cái bột à, form nó thành cái cái balloon uh, nail shape cho em. Tại trong đây cũng hơi lạnh nên uh, cái bột nó chưa có khô cho lắm nên à, anh có thời giờ để từ từ lấy cái cục bột này à, làm thành một cái shape cho em. I'm gonna build up the frizz just a little bit thicker. Because you don't want to tooth them, because when you blend it out, you want to make sure that the colors will unbile really nicely. So I'm going to build up the stress point just a little bit higher. We sell about, I'm sorry, about 100 pounds a day of this color. It's so popular. Super duper popular. That is a nice color. Because a lot of cover pink powders are very blue based or very orange based so they don't look natural and this is in between. Pick up your bead. Wait and count one, two, three. Wait for the bead to turn into a satin finish. Put it right at the cuticle. Wipe your brush. And then start pressing it at the cuticle at a 45 degree so that way you get a really nice thin application. And then brush it down side. Side, center. So, so I lay, yep, that was. <laughs> and that lay for um, me, cái top of here, and I lay a medium bead, and I'm da top lên. Mà cái khi anh làm là mà chiêu cái móng của em xuống thì lúc mà mình uh, chiêu cái xuống mình đắp cái bột nó sẽ chạy từ từ chạy xuống thì nó xong có lên cái, cái nó không có ta. Uh, nằm lan ra cái kiểu đồ của mình. So pretty and so soft, right? Yes. This is the hottest trend in America right now. Everybody really loves it. And when people do it, they always have a lot of problems. They're like, oh, it doesn't blend out good or whatever. So now you guys know the secret. And look at the shape. It's so beautiful. You know. You don't need much. Um, you don't need to file. Oh, my model has beautiful hands. The <laughs> gel. So because it's so cold in the convention center, and we're only doing one nail. It always takes a really long time for a demo to dry, right? Yes. So a little secret that we did when we would compete is we actually put cuticle oil on the nail. Really? And cuticle and it's oil. Up of the it does. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. I love that. And it also um, cuts back on the dust with the drill. So, and the friction will make it dry faster too. So, trong đây tại cái convention nó hơi lạnh á. So, cái uh, Max cho có một ý kiến rất là hay là anh dùng cái cuticle oil đắp lên thì cái 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 dầu nó sẽ speed up cái curing thì nó sẽ khô nhanh hơn. Thì tại chứ không thôi tại uh, hôm nay anh làm cho em một cái một ngón là nên uh, mình đợi hơi lâu. Thì bây giờ làm cái cuticle bỏ lên uh, cuticle oil lên thì nó sẽ uh, khô nhanh hơn. So after it dries, you want to check it, make sure it sounds like a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> so I'm going to take my file and I'm going to start filing it in a V formation. So file the sidewall nice and straight. And then at the stress point, I'm going to angle in my file so that way I get a really nice taper to the nail. So file and then stop so that way you don't nick the corner and then your nail comes out really nice and square. And then file the pre-edge. Quickly. And then we're going to use a special bit that we have that's called the Pink Rocket. And what's so famous about this bit is it's actually double the length of a regular bit. So that way you cover uh, more area and you file long nails faster and you don't have that awkward um, line that you get when using a shorter bit. So I'm going to use it at about 23,000 RPM right now. I'm going to start at the cuticle area with a bit angled at 45 degrees and then blend it all the way down. And I'm just going to go in this sidewall and just taper it a little bit more. Enjoy 
So it's so great to come to trade shows because I don't do that many trade shows in America that are smaller ones. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do the big ones like um, Las Vegas and Los Angeles. So it's so great to be able to come out here and meet all the people that follow you on social media in person. Oh, it's it awesome. Is. You have a lot of followers. Yes. With a little bit of monomer. Wow. And then I'm going to take gummy gel, and this gel is actually designed just for rhinestone application. Now the secret is you take shiny gel, which is our no wipe top coat. And this gel is so amazing because it doesn't yellow, it cures in 60 seconds, and you can use it over any gel polish, you can use it over um, dipping powder, you can use it over French, solar nails, pink and white, anything. And it seals it and you don't have to wipe it. Oh, nice. You're going to put it over the whole nail, even where I put the gummy gel. Wow. You can do everything at once. And you do that because the gummy gel is going to hold the rhinestone, right? And the shiny gel is going to shrink wrap around the rhinestone so it doesn't come off. This tool is actually designed just for rhinestone application for nails. That's why the shape is different. Because the other ones, they feel a little bit too bulky for nails. So Max, I just put the gummy gel on the end of the gummy top, no white top on the end. On top of that, I just put the gummy gel on the end. And now I'm picking up our Pixie Diamonds, yeah. which are actually only $5 here at the show and on our website. That's the really famous. And they just finish off the nail so beautifully. Because a lot of times you do a lot of designs with a lot of bling, but you always have gaps or like something's missing, right? Yeah. So Pixie Diamond finishes it off for you really beautifully. Yeah, good idea. So do you as like like that or is this your custom like your own mix yeah, this, I always get all my diamonds different sizes and I put them in one bag but when you order the picture diamond it's like this uh, and this is only five dollars people always ask you know how much uh, what, what how much should I charge right um, yesterday uh, Jimmy said that he charges ten dollars a finger for a pixie which is really good so you're taking a five dollar investment and you're making twenty five dollars out of it they always walk the side so that way I can keep the shape. And we're gonna cure that 60 seconds. So after it cures, you take it out of the lamp, you're gonna wait 30 seconds before you apply oil. If you apply oil too soon, it's actually gonna dull the nail because it's still polymerizing the gel. So you wait 30 seconds, apply oil only to the skin. And then she's done. Then you tell your client, give me the money. Yes, this will be available really soon. We launch it here at the show. Yeah, and then each each cap is a different color. And the prep is purple and the primer is a green cap. So that way they're easy to tell apart. Thank you, Max, for a beautiful design. I can't wait to go home and play with the new bit that uh, you just shown us today. So, uh, thank you for a great tutorial. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, you guys, for watching, too. I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you again at the next show. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.